Hi, Cancer. It's L here to do the end of month reading. So this is for the end of August 2020. Today is left here in 2020, August 2020. <laughs> this is uh, just a quick reading. Okay, so let's jump into this. Uh, I'll start with love. I made the mistake of starting with career and finances with Aquarius. I know y'all don't want to hear nothing about that. I just want to hear about love. So here we go. Um, cancer. It looks like either you or, or the other person you're dealing with, you're trying to resolve or, or dissolve something in your life that has a, a monetary, uh, it's monetary. Um, you're trying to make more money. You're trying to get a judgment or you're waiting for money. Um, you're in court you're, or there's legal issue. You're not concerned 100% with love. You're probably about 50-50, maybe. Um, you're trying to rebuild yourself and rebuild and establish yourself. You do love this person, want this person, want to be with them. But you feel like you have to rebuild yourself. Also, there needs to be constant building in the relationship, constant leveling up. You feel like that way with this person. You or they may feel like, okay, somebody's coming up as want, like wanting to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. But you can't start, you may just, might not be there just yet because it's it's almost as if you're trying to do something for yourself so that you have that level of confidence to actually be in the relationship. You may feel like because you aren't giving as much emotion, love, time, energy, effort to the relationship that maybe this person might get bored with you or they want to do away with you or that they may think you don't see their value. But you do. And you're so happy that you have something different. You have a change here, maybe from the, the past relationships, the, the, the ex. This person is different, so you're happy about that. But there's also some issue here that you have to resolve within yourself so that you feel more comfortable in the relationship. There also might be some, some things that you could be suppressing and, and not letting them come out. You may be deceiving yourself also, trying to at least um, push your emotions down to the point where you know, it's now self-deception. But it looks like this person is not giving up on you. They may even come. I don't feel like it's a confrontation of to the point where, you know, you guys aren't going to be together. But it might be a conference. This person may confront you with how they're seeing things right now. And they want you to shed some light. They want you to. Be clear because things are unclear. They're um, you're not. They don't know, or you don't know um, what's going to happen next. What you want to do, what they want to do. Uh, this could be how someone is making you feel. But it looks like they want something with you, but they have to be at a place of being established completely. Whatever that means to them, whatever that how they define that. Like I said, they may come to you, Cancer, and say, hey, with this message of concern, they may say, how do you really feel? What's going on? You know, this person may confront you in that manner. I don't I don't think it's, you know, confrontation where they don't, they want to be done with you. They're rid of you. No.
what that see what I'm seeing is what's directly going on in your career and finance is affecting your love and romance. Okay. Um, you're just really trying to be committed to making money and to building yourself back up to a level that you were at before, maybe before coronavirus, before last year. I don't know, but you're trying to, to reinstate maybe, um, some regimen that you had within yourself of how you got to the 10 of pentacles. Okay. Because you're trying to resurrect the Ten of Pentacles in your life by being the Prince of Pentacles, honoring your commitments, doing the hard work, knowing that it's going to pay off because you want to get back here, back to the Ten of Pentacles. It says, hang on, Cancer, because you got two negative cards here. But thank God that they're nines. The Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands. The next card would be the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. We know that tens are cycles completing ending. So it says, hang on, because you feel like you're going out of your mind and you're doing so much work and you're tired um, and you're wondering when it's going to pay off, but just hang on a little while longer because it, it is. Um, your hard work, your effort will pay off. Um, the good news that, you, that, that you're waiting for that, you know, there's going to be a harvest that you're going to be able to um, see fruit of your labor is coming. Good news surrounding money, maybe even baby news, but just all around good news uh, is coming to you, especially surrounding money. It's just going to make things more relaxed, easy, calm, peaceful. You're going to be easy sailing from here on out because you took the time to to honor your commitments. And because you're doing that, it feels like to the other person, while wow, you have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck too, it feels like to the other person here that you don't, you don't want the relationship or you're not putting too much into the relationship or you're not putting a title on it too soon. And you might not even be communicating to this person why you aren't moving so quickly. But here it just looks like because you're trying to get your financial situation together, correct, back to a place where you feel um, secure. Um, there also may have been a falling out here in the love and romance, or there had like there could have been someone was dividing their time or someone there's like a long term affair that someone was giving energy to. But it looks like now this person is, is taking to uh, you, Cancer, maybe because that didn't work out or there's nothing better out there. Uh, this could be you, Cancer. This could be the other person. Um, but they're definitely after you now. Uh, you you two, this was showing up here under the deck. Yeah, the two of cups. With the Knight of Cups, you, Cancer, or the other person is feeling like this is it can be a successful relationship, okay? And um, they want to give their all to it. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Leap, Aquarius, uh, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It could be anyone, okay? Um, but this person is ready to make a full-on emotional commitment to you. Um... Some of you are waiting for money in, in regards to maybe lawsuit because there could have been some theft that happened here. You know, someone someone stole something from you. So you maybe you have a lawyer or you're you're working with an official person or you are an official person and you're in court trying to figure out this this mess of things. Some of you this is divorce. Okay? And some of you it's uh some of you need to get your money unraveled. Unravel? I don't know. So what is coming to me, unravel in something or with someone so that you can have a change of career, journey, or just be with a new person altogether. I don't know. You fill in the blank for me. Um, 
But right, you're just waiting for a new pathway to be open for you, a, a, a door to be open. I'm hearing some of you creating your own pathway, okay? Um, new job, new, new business, new career, whatever it may be, new person. But you're just trying to, looks like cancer is really focused on themselves, focused on moving a business, um, career, job, whatever, forward, okay? Um, that's what they're focused on. Uh, or this is your other person. What cancer wants to say to your person is, you are beautiful. That's beautiful. That's very nice. And they want to say maturing. Um, either cancer, you want to say that this relationship is maturing you. Uh, this person is maturing you. This just life in, in general right now is, is maturing you. Um, or vice versa, you want to say to this person that they're maturing, okay? Um you want to tell this person, you want to say, forgive me for whatever. You fill in that blank down there. Forgive you for whatever, but you're asking for forgiveness. Um, your, what your person wants to say to you is, I just heard official person is, um, this is how you look at the, the person in question, your love interest. They're like official, like, like, like the shit is together. They're official. They're, they're, they're genuine. They're, you know, somebody dependable. And maybe they look at you like this or it's, it's, or it's mutual. What your person wants to say to you is being with you is awesome. Okay. Very nice. Um, what your person would like to say is I would choose you. Maybe they have options. They're saying I would choose you. Okay. Um, your person is saying, so what I lied, I'm a narcissist. This came up in Aquarius reading also. Um, maybe they lied about some things. Or this is how they're feeling about you. They're feeling like you, they're saying, you know, this is how you act. Um, I don't know. At the bottom of the deck, someone is saying, I'm so sorry I was an idiot. I don't know if there was a fault. Like I said, there could have been a falling out because there's a, a rebuilding here. Okay. Um, let's get some additional cards here. Um, just for the future energy, the end of August 2020. A very good reading. It just looks like cancer or the other person you're dealing with, whoever is in question, you know, for you, whoever you come to the reading for, they're just really concerned with, you know, money and career. And then they feel like once they get that under wraps, uh, everything else will fall in line. It will fall in place. Okay. Let's see. All right. Wow. <laughs> so kids that we have union we have new love we have a brunette female at the bottom of the deck we have a courting man so he's courting you very nice you may feel like he's an official guy too um very very nice um so i mean these these cards are self-explanatory let's talk about the shells we have here so we have ring okay I don't know if you can get that as focusing. Ring. Okay. Um, and then we have union. So it looks like somebody wants to, is working on trying to bring the union together. And they feel like they can only do that if they have X amount of dollars, if they are, you know, super stable financially, whatever. They just feel like the union can come together once. Um, they can make them get a ring once uh, money is, is okay. Someone could feel like someone's very smart. Um, or, or the smart thing to do is to, um, make sure they're financially stable before making any, um, emotional based moves. Cancer, you or the other person could feel like you're in a living hell. 
maybe with this nine of wands and nine of swords, you're just feeling like when is the nightmare ending? Okay. Um, spirit may want you to stop thinking like that and think about what it is you want and not what you don't want because you may manifest more of what you don't want. When you start thinking negatively, take yourself on this journey in your mind. Think about what you will buy right now if you had all the money you needed, whatever that amount is for you in your bank account. Think about where you go, what you would wear, uh, would you, what would you eat, who would you bring, um, how happy you would be or how you can make someone else so very happy. Think positive thoughts counteract all negative thoughts with at least five positive thoughts um people may say sound, that sounds stupid that's not realistic well dreaming is you know it starts in the mindset first so counteract negativity with positive thoughts um so yeah that's that um you could be dealing with a or you are a woman with um, brown hair, um, a brunette woman here. You could be dealing with someone who is, uh, this could be a new love, or this is a renewal of love. Um, this could be a man um, or a woman, but or you could be the man, Cancer, who is, uh, you know, dating somebody, courting them, um, uh, trying to get to know them so that uh, things can move forward. Let's get some additional messages to close out with. Can't a really good reading. Wow. Well, didn't I just say when you when you um, start thinking negative, you should counteract that with positive thoughts and, and positive things. And then the cards just say you should buy that item. Self care. Take care of yourself, Cancer. You may be telling somebody, not today, come with something new and something better, okay? Um, let's see. These cards don't want to drop. Some people, somebody out there saying, I just don't care. Okay. It, it might be that you don't care about yourself, or care about a relationship. Okay, two. The last two fell out. Wow. Someone is saying, I'm coming back to you, a changed man or woman. Very nice. Wow. Somebody is saying, Cancer, we need to have a long talk. Heart to heart. You see those hearts down there? Heart. Okay. Yep. Where's the cancer? Yep. Heart to heart. All right. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Very, uh, very nice reading. Nothing bad. Just some um, encouragement in moving forward. Cancer, um, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Um... You can also take advantage of the text question. You can text the question or how many questions you want to text to the number below. Pay for your question and receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Ken. Oh, I have to say this. The number below is not my personal number. The number below is not my personal number. The number below is not my personal number. This is a business line that, that holds business hours. Please do not just, you know, text whenever you or whatever you feel like you want to text. It's a business line. Um, sometimes the questions come in a lot and fast. So I have someone else helping me with the questions, not answering them, but at least helping with other questions. OK, so you're not always talking to me. Please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. It's a business line. We're operating like a business over here, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Many blessings to you. All the links are below. 
in the description box if you want to go over to the website and book a reading. If you want to take advantage of the text question, do keep in mind I am in the USA on Eastern Standard Time, if that helps you out a bit. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Many blessings.